Hi guys, it's the Basic Gamer and I hope you guys are doing well and having a fabulous time and if you're having trouble against the Elden Beast, well we shall try and simplify it because we have done it before and we shall do it again. This time we're doing it using Orduvis's Great Sword and just to show you on the map, you've got to come to the Oriza Hero's Grave and once you go through the grave, at the end you will be fighting two Crucible Knights and once you have them down, you should have your hands on this weapon. Uh, the Orduus's Vortex is the skill, it is a charged skill, and that's what we're going to be focusing on. Uh, Urtree Seal, because we're going to be using the Golden Vow and Flame Grant and Strength incantations. That Red Cross we shall fix very soon, you shall see. So in the Talismans department, we've got the Ritual Sword, Talisman, Shard of Alexander, Godfrey Icon, and Sacred Scorpion Charm. In the Flask of Wonders Physic, we've got the Fate Knot Crystal Tear, and that's what's going to fix our Red Cross problem and the spike crack tier for the charge attack and Mr. Mimic upgrade of plus 10 and obsidian flash so that we don't run out and I've also got Godric's Great Rune active which gives 5 additional points in each attribute so if the character status and attribute and all that stuff wasn't adding up well that's because we've got Godric's Great Rune active yes sir and if this doesn't work out for you well we have done this these guys using other easier and cheesier ways and i'll share the links for those videos in the description below you can check them out and also check out the description for video links on how to get most of the items that we are using in this video yes sir here he comes oh my god radagon is going to finish us before we even have a go at it Okay, I gotta get my ritual sword talisman going. This skill actually has amazing poise damage. See, look at that. He has, he has poise damage. I don't know why he wasn't moving. He was not doing much, was he? But this is the tap. But the tap is like a small, smaller version charge attack he just tap it like this that's not bad either there we go so he's out of the way we are ready for the Elden Beast he did not take a last sip Okay, so if we are smarter, like a bit smart here, we can actually, honestly, get our first poise damage for this guy. Look at that. See what, what I'm talking about? This thing has got amazing poise damage, guys. Like, amazing. Look at it. And I think the Elden Beast is going to have to sign out because he is... Uh oh, wrong move, but I'm so confident. Look at that. That was so good, guys. I am telling you, I was just really overconfident. I didn't even like, put my health up. Normally, I rush for it. But this was fun. This was good. And I hope this helps someone out there. And if it doesn't, please do let me know. And like I said, do check the description for video links on how to get the items and also on how to put the Elven Beast down using other easy and cheesy ways if this one doesn't work out for you and please do have the notifications on cause uh, otherwise you're going to just miss out on my videos when I publish them and please don't forget to like and subscribe until next time happy gaming take care and bye bye